Good morning, Peter Racy here from Foundation Expo 88 YouTube channel and we are here at Manning Street in front of Vision and we're talking about the making and manufacture of Be Prepared, the Human Factor series uh, sculpture that was made by the Artbuster group, John Underwood, brilliant uh, artist, and it was one of the main uh, sculptures featured in the Human Factor series, and I just thought it was very appropriate in front of Vision that we spoke about a visionary concept, a visionary concept of Lord Mayor Adrian Trinner to continue the work that uh, Graham Quirk started as Lord Mayor. Um, and so I'm hoping that you find this YouTube really interesting. Now let's just have a look at a little bit of footage of this uh, Be Prepared sculpture in 2012, just after the floods went through Brisbane. And I have with me the General Manager of Scouts Queensland, Mr Ian Lightbody. How are you, how are you Ian? Well thank you John. Very nice to meet you. Just before that footage, uh, the, what I thought was called the Saluting Scout, um, had been underwater in the 2011 floods and had been restored at that particular uh, point in time. Uh, now, the work of the Brisbane City Council in celebrating the 30th anniversary of Expo 88 saw a lot of these art buster pieces donated back uh, into the public domain, um, but not all of them. And in the, the case of the Be Prepared statue, um, that's actually been loaned to the Brisbane City Council to be recast in bronze and then to go up on public display. So I think it's worthwhile now just having a look at a little bit of footage as to the location where the statue is going to be uh, put. Have a look at this. We're up at Scout's Place at Kangaroo Point and there's an amazing new piece of Expo 88 art coming up here which will be featured to really make this a special place and event. Expo 88 and Scout's Place. Scout's Place. And as these photos show, um, it is quite a unique and beautiful site and it's celebrating an important event. Uh, in the history of Scouts in Queensland. Have a look at these couple of photos. So what this YouTube is about is to document the making or the recasting of the uh, Be Prepared Human Factor um, series art buster piece. And so we'll step through the process and in the first instance just have a look at these couple of photos that show the first step of the process. Um, have a look at these. Now what that shows uh, is the statue uh, as it was just after it was coated in a rubber solution uh, to get the fine detail, uh, to pick up the fine detail out of the, the fiberglass statue. And then there is a fiberglass mat that's applied over the back of the, uh, the rubber mold so that it sort of gives it some form and rigidity. Now, the next part of the process you'll see is here. I've never seen this before in the water tank here from Foundation Expo 88 YouTube channel and we're currently looking at the wax version of the saluting scout in the water solution tank that just keeps it perfect um, before the next stage of the process. We're back and so we've marched through the process uh, to where we're now ready to go through the rest of the YouTube that will show you the actual uh, process that sees the saluting scout being made uh, into its final um, guise and at the present stage uh, at this point in time we're just a matter of weeks away from the sculpture going up at scout's place the start of the youtube as you saw was actually 
uh, began to be put together some weeks ago. Um, I hope you enjoy the rest of the uh, YouTube as we look uh, at the manufacturing process. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoy the rest of the YouTube. We're sort of halfway in the process of uh, making the saluting scout. Give us an idea of this part of the process, which is where you've put the wax and you're now starting to form up the shell, um, which we'll see later where it gets baked, where the wax melts out of it and then we get poured. So tell us a bit about this part of the process. Okay, so at the moment, what you're looking at here is um, some brackets and it's designed, every, this is, there's actually still wax inside this shell. So what we're doing is we are shelling over the top of the wax. And if you can see that way, this is gonna be, end up being our cup that we pour through to pour our pieces. So in order to put the ceramic shell on, we have to dip it in this tank over here. And that's a slurry, I think it's called, isn't it? Yep, which is a slurry, a 75 micron flour goes in here. And so that's it there. So we let it drip off a bit. So this is really just like um, an effect like a lamington. Yeah, it is. When you look at this stuff, and then we go over to this, what they call flint clay, and we just sprinkle that on, like playing in the sand. And there we have another layer. So what happens is this piece will get probably four or five layers and then that'll be when we go into the next process as you've talked about where we burn the wax out and then cast it. So when you look at this one, this one's actually quite, it's thick enough, it's probably got about four coats on there. So ready to go. Righto, thanks Dean for that, that fills in a, another part of this jigsaw. You are welcome. That's what you call getting the wax out of your ears. The saluting scout coming together, really, really fantastic. What a beautiful piece this is. The head being worked on, the wax being got out of the ear, and here it is, welded on uh, with the next stage. If we're lucky enough today, we might see a little bit of welding action. We shall see. We're doing a little bit of welding on the saluting scout and Dean what do you think is this going to be as stunning uh, up at scouts place as the drover and his mate this will be a crowd pleaser up there I know a lot of tourists go up that top piece apparently there's buses pull up there and everything so very iconic the scout so no it'll be good it's an iconic iconic location yeah right up there Iconic about Scout's Place, how uh, busloads of tourists uh, congregated this location. I've just driven straight here after that comet because I knew I would find a busload of tourists. The former Lord Mayor was certainly a Scout and Adrian um, was also involved. I mean, you have just, it goes to show true leadership uh, credentials really do come out of these voluntary organisations. Yes. I'm carrying on. You're good on you.
G'day, my name is Dr. Celebrity Colin Patterson. I've got a little song for you. Cool, g'day.